speaks for itself in so many ways. A stadium bursting at the seams with excitement and two terrific teams ready to give it everything in their quest for glory. The kind of match that's impossible to take your eyes off even for a brief second. It's Manchester City, they take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. Stage is set and the players are just about ready here in Manchester. They're at the home of City this evening. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It is Manchester City taking on Real Madrid. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it's an even contest and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. Play it in. Rodrigo. And it might be Tony Cross. Looks it brilliantly. Holland. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Danny Holland. Pulls it back. Deciding to go short with this one. Teammate in support. Wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Antonio Ludiga plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erwin Holland. What are you expecting to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, in many ways, he's a throwback to the 80s in the way he plays. He's so strong at holding up the play. He can outmuscle opponents. Today, the defenders will certainly know they've been in the battle. Oh, did so well to deny him. Here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, frustration for Pep Guardiola. He needs to get a reaction from his players now. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. Jeremy Doku. With Rodri. He decided to get the free kick decision the way of City. He dealt with that ball played in rather well. Rodri. Tony Cross. 
centers offside here. Fine play to keep possession. Alert intervention. Vasquez. And back to Vasquez. Wonderful challenge. And a throw in coming up. And a chance to whip it in here. And he stopped them in their tracks. A city free kick forthcoming. It's always at the discretion of the referee, in this case opting not to book it. Akanji has it. Well timed tackle. A decent delivery. Will it happen for him here? Well, as you can see, what an excellent backfield this is to set up the goal. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Manuel Akanji. Kevin De Bruyne. Here's Alvarez. Foden. Walker now. Oh, nice ball over the top. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And totaling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Well, it could be up for him here. As you can see, they finish this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Real Madrid 
Madrid are going to make the change now. And over comes the corner. And the danger still on. Very quick thinking there. Shield the ball and control it. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here's the replay, and what a well delivered cross this is perfectly placed and the finish is really well taken because he judges the flight of the ball uses the right technique and then makes such good contact that's a clever goal well that's not a happy manager he knows he's got a lot of work to do now and this is turning into something of a rout 4-0 Advantages with City. Van Dion. Rodri. They need to get tighter. He's in control of the situation. Opportunity. Pulls it back. Terrific defending to stop them progressing. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Well, they went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Well, sensible refereeing, you might say. Now he goes back and hands out the yellow card, Stuart. Yeah, that's very good. He let the play continue and then came back for the earlier challenge. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Course. That's a go. And still danger here. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates. But what a first save that was. And it's in the last 20 minutes. And Bellingham. With that, the attack fizzles out. Fernando Silva. Manuel Akanji. Silva. Phil Foden now. Many. Alaba. Already at two a many. Force. Forcing him. Determined defending. No chance perhaps. And a routine catch for the Brazilian. Silver. And snuffed out the danger immediately. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. And the substitution will occur now. Into the box it goes. Absolutely nothing. Five minutes left. 
left. Tony Coles. He has teammates around him. Valverde. The attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. about that in time, two minutes it'll be. De Bruyne. Phil Foden now has the strength to hang on to it. And that's it, official now, Real Madrid have made it to the final. Well, what a good win that was over the two games. Their attacking play has been brilliant. If they can repeat that in the final, they have every chance of lifting the trophy. In the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.